I don't exactly know what went what what's going on but for some reason the universe is pushing me to to do something about how I feel and something changed the way I look at things hi guys welcome to another vlog and today we're, we're gonna talk about 2021 and what changed me as a person or there is what was the thing or what was the in, what was the instance that made me change how i look at things moving forward 2021 the last vlog that i did um it talked i talked about 2020 and the realizations and the learnings that i had um, from that year on so in this vlog I'm going to talk about 2021 or how I will set my tone moving forward in this year, in this new year. I don't know if um, a lot of you were paying attention to my last vlog, but for the past few weeks, I have been feeling so down, sad and anxious. Um, I don't exactly know where it's coming from, but but for some reason, I feel sad. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with me missing um, Christmas and New Year with the family or, or the fact that I'm so far away and it's my first time working away from, from home. So, but I really can't pinpoint where exactly the sadness is coming from, but I know for a fact that I am, I am sad and and something changed the way I look at things. Um, I'm gonna share to you a book that I read just yesterday, actually. Um, after doing my morning tasks, I usually wake up now 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And then that's where I do my first task. And then I do my cleaning. I have an area to clean and maintain. And then um, I make um, Zatar salad for the prince and the princess. And then that's when around 2 p.m. That's where I finish or I do my last task for the, um, for the first half of my day. That's um, delivering food for Madame Perry and the private teacher Miriam, one of my colleagues. So I, yesterday I had a little time to read a book. Um, I don't exactly know what went, what, what's going on, but for some reason the universe is pushing me to, to do something about how I feel. And that's when I thought of, of downloading a book, an, an ebook that is. Um, so I found this really interesting book um, um, from the philosophy category um, it talked about a new thought. I'm gonna link uh, the book uh, on the description section below so that um, you guys can also check it out. I'm pretty sure you will learn a lot. So I initially I really just thought that it's just gonna be another book that would talk about life in general you know, but I was totally wrong. Um, as I was reading through the book, I was having goosebumps along the way. Um, I didn't know that it would really hit me so hard because it seems like it was purposely done or the, the universe was purposely slapping onto my slapping it onto my face that I really you know it's just what I needed at this time I have realized a lot of things and I have learned a lot of things about that book and I'm gonna talk to you some of the things that really impacted how how I think so in that book um, there is a, a chapter that talks about the philosophy of happiness and that happiness 
must come from within so that it would manifest outside so a lot of people might be having a hard time looking for happiness as much as a, as much or as hard as they could they're having a hard time looking for the happiness that they're they're looking for and that book specifically said that happiness must emanate from you. You don't really have to look for it. It's there. You just have to focus yourself and and let it out. You know, you have to know what are the things that make you happy. It might be little things. It doesn't really have to be big things or grand things. Those little things that make you happy is, is good enough. So as I was reading the book, I was actually having goosebumps and I was about to cry because it was really hitting me so hard to the core. And these are, you know, these are things that are given that are out there, but we don't really pay a lot of attention. We neglect them maybe because, you know, we are more focused on the negative energy and the worries and we drown ourselves all with all these things that we tend to forget the basic things in life and that is to be happy that is to be able to do things that we love and you know in that certain book i want to share to you how it talked about how your morn how you start your morning affects your entire day so that book suggests that once you wake up in the morning make sure you claim claim anything that's good about that day for example maybe you're claiming that you will have blessings on that day or you will have the power to do good or opulence or or good health so make sure every morning we make it a routine to really claim that today is going to be the best day and I will have more blessings and I will have good health and I will have the power to do good and and I'll have opulence so just a trivia if you don't know the word opulence um, by definition it means um, abundance uh, it may be abundance of blessings or anything that's um, just pouring so that's opulence. We wish for abundance of the good things that life could possibly offer. And it says that it's so sometimes, you know, I'm not saying that everything should be perfect in a way and nothing will go wrong. No, it's just that you have to, to think about the good things. And it's normal that every time you claim something, it gets challenged or the universe will try to to prove you wrong or otherwise but you know it's pretty normal that after you claim it maybe um, something happens or a bad thing happens but don't get distracted just move forward because that's just one incident and there's still more things that could happen in that day and maybe more good things that will happen on that day so that book basically says that you have to set your tone in the morning good because how you set or what you think first thing in the morning would really affect the entire day so if you think about your problems and worries first thing in the morning you're, you'll probably end up having a bad day and still think about the negative things and the worries that you have so instead, rewire your thinking. Change the way you think and think about the good things. First thing in the morning, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't really have to be 100%. It might not be 100%, but that's normal. But at least you're setting a tone that today is gonna be a good day. You claim it. You claim it that the day is gonna be awesome. That more blessings, good health, power to do good, and opulence will come. There's a specific chapter in that book that talks about the philosophy of happiness. So yeah, I that really hit me so hard because all this time I was trying to find my happiness. 
I, I, I really felt lost and you know all I had to do was to check on myself and what are the things that make me happy and revisit them and be thankful for the things that I have and it's changing the way I feel and actually I just read the book yesterday and now I feel a lot better and feel like I'm in a better place and I hope that you would also realize that you know happiness doesn't really have to be big you know little happiness is enough to make you feel better so try to reevaluate yourselves what are the things that make you happy and try to focus on them more than the worries and the negativities that that your mind is trying to to think about another thing that i would want to share about the book is the fact that it suggested an exercise it's it's a 10 minute exercise that you have to do um, in the morning and in the evening probably uh, once you wake up and then before you uh, sleep in the evening so in the morning you have to um, sit straight and then it talked about that this particular exercise is about um, heavy breathing uh, deep breathing rather you have to it says that when you breathe deeply it helps uh, regulate your blood flow more that would make you more relaxed and make you feel better as a whole so in the morning you have to sit up straight and like uh, do a meditation pose perhaps maybe touch your knees and then just uh, breathe deeply for 10 minutes and it says that once you breathe in try to think about the good things that you want to claim you want to breathe in like maybe you want to breathe in love and exhale all the negative energies or you want to breathe in um, good health and love and more blessings you want to breathe in a more energetic um, lifestyle or you want to breathe in more good health for this day so make it an exercise daily um, in the morning uh, it suggests that you face the eastern part the east part of the direction where where you're at so try to look for if you have a compass or anything there's an app for it try to look for the east side face the east side and do uh, the deep breathing exercise and in the evening uh, before you sleep perhaps um, uh, it's better that we face the west side because it says that there is more um good magnetic connection if you're facing the west side during the evening so i'm not saying it's 100 percent um, guarantee but at least you're doing something to make yourself feel better right so yeah just inhale the good things the positive things and then exhale everything that's negative and that's making you worry a lot yeah i hope you guys uh, got something from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section and thank you very much. Keep falling.